What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you uh, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future, for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Gemini. This resonates if you have Gemini in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Hamish your charts. Don't forget the basic time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Uh, free general uh, oracle card reading for sign Gemini. I got one channel message. It's all meditating on your uh, mid-April of 2022's energy for um, sign of Gemini. And I heard um, highly intuitive, know something's not right. That's what I heard. So only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own life. How it resonates, Gemini, if that message applies for you. For some of you guys, one message may apply. For some, two plus may apply. For some, none may apply. So if that message applies for you, you're highly intuitive and you know something is not right. Now, whatever in the world in your life is not right. It could be career. It could be home, personal, uh, professional, business, um, what have you. But one of you guys is very highly intuitive and you know something's not right. So however in the world that resonates, if that applies for you, Gemini. This can resonate if you have Gemini in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midham, and Jupiter charts. I only take the messages that resonate. There are messages you have signed Gemini. The leader of an occultist group is about to connect with the Gemini soon. Be wary of this person. For some, you know to be wary of this person already. It'd be smart to transmute the energy. Oh, my Lord, Gemini. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. A leader of an occultist group. So when I, I heard occultist group, I think of somebody like David Koresh is what I think. If you don't know who David Koresh is, Google him. He is, um, he was, I think, the head of the Waco crap. I think that's David Koresh, um, but Google David Koresh. I think that's who it is. Uh, I'm pretty positive. But anyways, he's the, David Koresh is the guy that basically had all the uh, people drink the Kool-Aid, literally drink the Kool-Aid at that compound in Waco, Texas. Um, seriously. So when I hear a cultist group, I think of somebody like David Koresh. Now, it might not be somebody like David Koresh, but that's what I feel. Um, but whoever you are, it's some leader of an occultist group. It could be masculine or feminine energy, but I heard they're about to contact you soon. It'd be um, very smart to basically keep them at bay and um, be wary there. Um, for some, you're already highly intuitive. For some, maybe your intuition will peak up after they contact you. Um, however, you know, whoever you are and however that applies in your life, everybody's on different time of life paths. For some, you're highly intuitive, you know, some you're very highly intuitive. For some, your intuition may not be very high. However, that resonates for you. But just be wary of this leader of the occultist group. It sounds like it can be masculine or feminine, but it sounds like they're very skilled in communication. It sounds like they know how to manipulate people. David Koresh was very, very highly skilled at manipulating people, so much so that he convinced a bunch of people to drink Kool-Aid, deadly poisonous Kool-Aid, to kill themselves, to go ascend, i.e. I, they, they died over this man. So I'm not saying this person's going to ask you to drink the Kool-Aid, but um, I would just be careful because he, sound, uh, he or she sounds like a negative energy and they sound very, very, very highly manipulative. And I'm just being serious about that. Okay, I think one of you guys is very emotional about a situation or some, or maybe um, someone's emotional about you or um, you're dealing with somebody with addictions because there was four cards that flew out there. So you plug it in how it resonates. Fair messages you have for San Gemma. And one of you guys already knows something's not right, so it might be about this occultist leader because you're drawing this occultist leader in very, very, very strong. So however that resonates in one's life. Playfulness and courage. 
and indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly, climbing towards success. Dragonfly spirit, truth sends illusion. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Number 22, 13, 15, or 3 could be very significant numbers in one's life. It could be possible ages of children, of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 22, 13, 15, or 3. For some, you could be dealing with an air sign or another air sign or a earth sign. Um, you have air sign, earth sign energy in here. If you are, they could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Credit card statements do not lie. Oh my lord, I heard credit card statements do not lie. So you plug it in how it resonates. Truth transcends illusion. Um, when you credit card statements do not lie, that's what I heard. So maybe one of you guys is having money issues, or it doesn't have to be you, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of credit card statements do not lie. To me, I feel that could be. Somebody has run up the credit card bill. Uh, maybe you did or somebody you're connected to. Maybe it's your credit card bill. Maybe it's somebody else's and they're just griping up, complaining about it. Um, how that resonates in your life. Um, but I think somebody ran up a credit card bill. Whether it was you or somebody you're connected to. And the truth transcends illusion. Meaning you're about to see this credit card bill with your own eyeballs. If it's your credit card bill or you're about to hear about it from somebody else. How that resonates. But... Some kind of credit card bill energy. I think somebody ran up a credit card bill, whether it was you or somebody you're connected to. And I don't think it was like a hundred dollars. I'm I'm thinking it's a lot of freaking money. Whoever did this, um, how that resonates. A particular Gemini is about to have a huge wake-up call that a Libra feminine is very, very, very lazy. Libra feminine for some, Leo masculine for some. Some, a very particular Sagittarius feminine. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're having a huge wake-up call that a Sag femme is lazy, some a Leo masculine, some a Libra femme. So you plug it in, however that resonates in your life. So the true transcending illusion is you realizing the truth that some kind of Sag feminine, Libra femme, or Leo masculine is very lazy. They could have um, Libra, Leo, or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and have their Jupiter charts. I heard um, Sag femme, Libra femme, Leo masculine. Um, it could be somebody you work, work with. It could be a business. It could be somebody you're in a business with. It could be somebody you work with in a workplace situation. It could be a family member, a neighbor, um, or somebody in your community, whoever it is. But whoever it is and however they apply in your life, it could be a Sag fem, a Libra fem, or a Leo masculine. But you're realizing having a huge wake-up call, they're just freaking lazy. So um, however that resonates in one's life, Jim and I. A particular Gemini feminine has been gang stalked recently. She's about to figure out it's from her husband's karmic. She's about to take great action. Holy crap. Oh, wow. So a Gemini femme, uh, you're married. You're legally married. If that resonates for you, you're a Gemini feminine legally married. And your husband has a girlfriend or a boyfriend. However, that resonates. Uh, some kind of karmic energy, third-party situationship energy. Some kind of karmic energy. Um, it's either a third-party situationship, girlfriend, boyfriend. It could be masculine or femme karmic. But you've been gang-stalked recently. 
and you're about to figure out it's what her girlfriend is from his girlfriend. So it has to be feminine energy. It has to be fem. Um, you're about to realize it's from his girlfriend. So you're, you know, he's got you in a third party, basically. Um, you're about to realize the reason you're being gang stalked is because of her, basically. Um, yeah, that's true karmic energy right there. It just truly is. That's sad. That, how old is this person? Just saying, just saying. They need a whooping from their parents or parent. I'm serious. Cat spirit, claim your independence. A particular Gemini masculine is about to receive communication that he's not going to want. He's not going to want it. Some it's a secret third party breaking it off. For some it's from your spouse. For some it's official communication. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you're a Gemini masculine. If this message resonates for you. Um, I heard you're about to receive communication that you're not going to want to hear. Um, for some, it's from your legally married spouse. For some, it's from your third party, um, secret situationship, et cetera, et cetera. They're about to break it off. Your secret third party is. For some, it's from your spouse. For some, it's uh, some kind of official communication you're not going to want to hear. So claim your independence away from negativity is what I'm feeling here. Claiming your independence away from negativity uh, is some kind of communication you're not going to want to hear, whether it you fit in one of these categories, all these categories, or none of these categories. Um, it's either from your legally married spouse, your third party situation, breaking it off, or some kind of official communication um, in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates for you, Gemini masculine. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to able to able to ramble aimlessly. A particular Gemini is about to get into a very heated altercation with an Aquarius soon. Very heated. Many phone calls are about to be made exposing this Aquarius because of the past. Oh my lord. Whoa, Gemini. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear Lord of mercy. Um, so Dealing with Aquarius energy strong, you're pulling, already pulling in a lot of signs, but Aquarius energy very strong. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, and Jupiter chart, so this resonates for you. But I heard um, you're about to get into a very heated altercation with them. So hopefully it's not hands or physical, hopefully it's verbal, but um, it sounds like you're very mad over some kind of very serious situation in the past. Um, however, that resonates in your life. Um, and um, it sounds like it's about to get very, very heated. Um, so much so you're about to make, it sounds like you are about to make several phone calls exposing this Aquarius. So um, you know this Aquarius, you know this Aquarius. It is somebody you know, whoever it is. But you are about to take some action here. I, I think you feel like you were allowing your life to aim, ramble aimlessly because of this Aquarius in some shape, form, or fashion. I think for some, they were blackmailing you, um, trying to get you not to say something, um, say anything on some kind of very serious situation in the past. For some, it could be Secret 7, possibly, because I pulled in Secret 7 in Taurus's reading. But it doesn't have to be. I didn't hear Secret 7 in here. But for some, it may it may be. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it's some kind of very serious situation in the past, whether it's Secret 7 related or not. I'll tell you that. But how, however that resonates, and Aquarius was involved in it, you know they were. I feel for some, they were blackmailing you. I didn't hear they were blackmailing you about it. But I feel maybe for some, they were. But you are about to take the wheel in your own hands. Jesus, take the wheel energy is what I'm feeling. Um, so you're not going to allow your life to ramble aimlessly anymore. You're about to take control of that bad boy. You're about to make very, very several very important phone calls um, because of this very serious situation in the past, whether it was Secret 7 related or not. You're not you are about to change your your life. You're, you're, you're not going to be indecisive and rambling aimlessly. You're going to direct it in a positive, copacetic, 
way, but it feels like for some, you're about to cut this Aquarius out of your life is what I'm feeling. So for some, you're about to cut them out of your life or about to block them as best as you can out of your life. It doesn't sound like they brought positive to your life. It sounds like they brought nothing but negative or mostly negative. Um, whoever this Aquarius is and however they resonate in your life, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter charts. And to me, that could go the claim your independence too. Um, I feel for some, you might have been codependent on this Aquarius in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you're about to take your life back um, and not allow this Aquarius to control you is what I'm feeling. I feel for some, this Aquarius was either controlling you or trying to control you. However, this resonates. Ladder, climbing towards success. You're about to be very successful in this with this Aquarius. Know this. Very successful. You will get to the right person. Don't give up. Okay. Heard you're about to be very successful in this, Gemini. Very successful. Don't give up. You're about to get to the right person. So one of you guys is having a very, um, is having a rough time, very rough time with an Aquarius. Um, I feel for some, they could be a position of high authority over you, or they just tried to exert dominance and control in your life in some shape or fashion. For some, it could be a spouse. For some, it could be a boss. For some, it could be um, a power-hungry family member. For some, it could be a power-hungry friend. Somebody is power-hungry up in here, whether they did exert control over you or they tried to or they tried to exert control over somebody else or they did exert control over somebody else but somebody this aquarius is very power hungry i tell you that you know this um and so much so they've been throwing you off uh whether they exerted control over you or not or tried to but however that resonates you're about to get your claim your independence to get your power back um, by doing this, making these very important phone calls, I heard. It sounds like for some, you're going to make many of them, but, uh, um, but I heard you will get to the right person. Don't give up. So for some, I feel you're going to have to make many phone calls. Um, but I heard don't give up. You will get to the right person. So, um, climbing towards success with this Aquarius, I heard you're going to be successful in this with this Aquarius, but I heard don't give up, don't give up. And I feel for some, you're gonna have to make many phone calls, uh, until you get to the right person. So. Um, I feel that that's at least for one of you guys. I'm just reiterating that because that's very important for at least one of you guys, okay? And that could be the true transcends illusion too. You you speaking the truth on this Aquarius. Some, some Aquarius is very, very, very important in somebody's life, but in a negative way. Um, and you're about to expose them, basically. Playfulness. Time with children and grandchildren is going to be very, very important to you soon. Use it wisely. Youthful, youthful spirit. Okay, I heard time with children and grandchildren is going to become very significant for at least um, for some of you guys. A uh, youthful, youthful spirit. So that's beautiful. So um, I think some of you guys are about to sp start spending some very quality time either with your children or somebody you're connected to's children or your grandchildren or somebody you're connected to's grandchildren. Um, they have a very youthful spirit about them. And I think um, you are able to, um, I don't think like energy suck off them. I think you're going to um, transmute it to help your energy level to, um, help you uh, become playful and have a youthful spirit about you. I don't feel succubus, incubus energy here. Um, this is children, grandchildren we're talking about. At least God, I hope not. I feel, um, you know, positive transmutation of energy. Um, children's energy usually is beautiful. It's beautiful. I have two of my own and my kids have taught me many wonderful lessons in life and they have showed me, I mean, kids bring a whole new perspective to life. They just really do. And I would not be the person I am today if it was not because of my children. And um, I'm serious about that uh, as a heart attack. And um, I love my kids with everything in me. And I think somebody else does, is what I'm saying. So, um, and that's beautiful. I feel like I almost want to cry over here. 
uh, because it is beautiful. It's beautiful. So, but I feel one of you guys feels that way about your kids or somebody you're connected to's kids or your grandchildren or somebody you're connected to's grandchildren. And uh, like I said, I don't feel this is an energy succubus kind of thing. I feel it's just a positive transmutation of energy uh, when you get around these kids or grandkids, whether they're your kids or grandkids or somebody else's. And um, you're going to piggyback off it in a positive way and play with them, joke around with them exert useful energy with them so positive playful energy in a positive copacetic manner um which is really beautiful that's beautiful so playfulness with kids or grandkids um it's kids or grandkids that really mean a lot to you um so that 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 really is beautiful i know my kids mean everything to me and i don't just say that i really truly mean that and i, I mean that and i think somebody else feels that way too about your kids or your grandkids Courage. A particular Gemini's, some a stepchild, some stepchildren are about to tell you they do not want to be around you anymore. It's about to hurt you in a very hurtful way, but it will be the truth. It will be good to respect this decision. Oh, my Lord. Woo. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some, it's one stepchild of yours, it sounds like. For some, it's two plus stepchildren of yours, whoever you are, Gemini. For some, you have one stepchild. For some, you have two plus stepchildren. But I heard they're about to, either one or two plus of them are about to tell you they do not want to uh, be around you anymore. And I heard the spiritual download, it'd be, be very smart to basically respect their decision. Um, so uh, courage when they tell you this. Uh, I heard it's going to hurt a lot. Um, but I heard it will be the truth. So, I mean, they'll be speaking their truth. They will be speaking their truth and they will be speaking the truth to you. So, you know, don't lash out at them. I know it's going to be hard, but don't lash out at them because they, at least they're being honest with you. At least they're being honest. I don't know when the world happened in the past. It sounds like something happened in the past to make them think this way or feel this way is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Um, because they, Usually people don't just come to you and tell you something like that out of truth, honesty, and clarity unless something crazy did not happen in the past to cause it. And that's just the truth. Um, so I, I, I heard it's going to be the truth. So truth is going to transcend illusion. I heard it's going to hurt you, but it would be smart to take it, take the information, and respect the boundaries, basically. Um, I feel for some of you guys, maybe you, you're not good at respecting people's boundaries, and maybe this will give you a wake-up call to respect people's boundaries. Um, when you hear this from either your stepchild or your stepchildren. However, this resonates in one's life, Gemini. So courage, energy, courage to accept the truth. Courage to accept the truth. A significant swinger video that a Gemini is involved with is about to get leaked. You will, it will embarrass the hell out of you. Know this. A Leo masculine is very significant in this. Oh, Lord. You've got heavy Leo masculine energy in here for at least one of you guys. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a significant swinger video that you are in. Uh, Gemini. So um, you are, if this resonates for you, this message resonates for you, you are actually in the swinger video. So you have been a swinger in the past, if this resonates. Um, I've never been a swinger. I'm, I will never be a swinger. I have no desire in being a swinger, but I'm not judging people that have been swingers. I'm not, um, because apparently some of my viewers have been swingers. Um, I've been pick, picking up a lot of swinger video uh, energy recently. So much so people have been utilizing ball teams to pick up groupies for um swingers recently i mean that's been in some of my readings and that's the truth um which is disgusting i mean i like i just told you guys i have two kids and i've been on many ball teams in the past many ball teams with my children um uh travel ball teams break ball teams etc 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 but what has anybody ever asked me to be part of a swinger um group 
no, but they know not to. That's disgusting. But somebody has been getting on ball teams with their kids, like their kids ball teams there and utilizing people, their parents, the parents of the ball team to um, get in these swinger, um, swinger parties. Um, I'm not saying this is you, but I'm just telling you that's what I've been picking up. And that could be overexerting playfulness, overdoing manipulation. Um, I'm just saying, I could not imagine because I've been on many ball teams in my life with my kids. And somebody ever asked me, and I'm a single mother, I could not imagine somebody doing that to me because they know not to. I mean, I'm serious. I would be like, hell no. And they'd be like, oh yeah, sorry. Um, but somebody had the gall to do that to somebody is what I'm saying. I mean, but somebody fed into it. Somebody fed into it. But anyways, but one of you guys has been swinging. You've been swinging and there's a significant, whether it's current swinging energy or past uh, past swinging energy, only you know your story, not anybody else. Somebody's been too playful. Um, and you're in this swinger video. I heard it's about to get leaked and you're about to be basically mortified, highly embarrassed. And um, a Leo masculine is very significant and it sounds like spreading this um, swinger video. However, this resonates. Um, he could have Leo and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, heaven, or Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Gemini, um, you're about to have courage because this significant swinger video, it sounds like it hasn't been leaked yet, but it's about to be. Um, it sounds like your naked body parts with many other people and, and sharing of fluids with many other people, whether it's on somebody on the ball team or not, is about to be shared. It sounds like very publicly with a lot of folks. A lot, a lot, a lot of people are about to see this video and one particular person, you're not going to want to see it. An ex-spouse. It's going to lead to other negative series of chain of events. Oh my lord, I heard all basically a ton of people are about to see this video. They're about to, a ton of people are about to see it. And for one of you guys, one significant ex spouse, and the ex spouse sounds like they're going to create many negative series of chain of events for you once they see this swinger video. But in all fairness, they probably should. Um, because if you've got kids and you're raising their kids together and you're out there splaying your body parts to everybody in the community, sharing everybody's fluids, is that really the smartest um, route? No, it's really not. Um, I mean, just saying, just saying, I feel like somebody might need to hear that. Um, to me, this is overdoing the swinger energy. Somebody's about to be exposed. Um, and one of you guys is just about to be mortified, but you're in the swinger video. Um, but Leo masculine, apparently for at least one of you guys is very significant in spreading this swinger video. If this resonates for you, um, Gemini, whoever you are, yikes, yikes, yikes. Let me see if I hear anything else. You will have a very important decision to make soon. Make it wisely. Oh, Lord, I heard you will have a very important decision to make soon. Make it wisely. So if this resonates for you, Gemini, you can be masculine or feminine. Um, whoever this is for, I heard you're going to have a very important decision to make soon. Make it wisely. So some kind of very important decision soon to make, um, some kind of very important decision to make soon. Make it wisely. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. And maybe if you make the decision wisely, you will climb towards towards success in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. I, lo I love you guys so much. We're getting off. I'm getting off here. Love you guys so much. Namaste.